Hello, I'm Chip Stites, and this is The Laughing Retirement. In our ongoing series of questions to help people retire, one of the questions we get the most is, is why did you move to Italy? And that actually has two parts. Part number one is, why did you move out of the U.S.? Part number two is, why did you move specifically to Italy? When we moved out of the U.S., the simplest answer was, I realized that I couldn't afford to retire and not live the way I wanted to live. Our medical insurance was $1,460 a month with a $6,000 deductible. My rent, because I'd sold the house knowing I wanted to retire, and I couldn't figure out how to do it with the house. My rent was $1,580 a month. So you put those two together, you're looking at $3,000 a month and you haven't eaten yet. You haven't spent any money on the car and you don't have electricity. I had been a reader for years of International Living Magazine. If you're interested in retirement and, you're inter and you don't feel like you have the money to retire in the way you'd like to retire in the U.S., it's a perfect place to go. Start reading International Living Magazine. I had already been reading it when, when I started exploring retirement in 2010 for well over 10 years. Now I've been reading it for over 20. Now I write for them. I wanted to travel and I wanted to change my lifestyle. So we began exploring and we looked at Mexico and we looked at Costa Rica and we looked at um, uh, where Nicaragua and we looked at a bunch of places. And finally, we went to an international living convention or conference for four days. And the nine countries that we were interested in were whittled down to four by the time we were done. And so we went to each of those countries. My wife loves to travel. I love to travel. And we like the lifestyle overseas. And in our travels, what we found is why we moved to Italy. Now, we took three weeks and we drove around through Italy. Did I speak Italian? No, we didn't. One of the biggest mistakes I made was not learning enough Italian, but we didn't know where we wanted to live. So we drove around Italy and we fell in love with the place. It's a feeling. In Spain, um, we were woken up a couple of times during the week at three, two, three o'clock in the morning by people outside reveling in the streets, singing and dancing and enjoying themselves. And that's great, but they don't start to eat till 10 o'clock. That's when, that's when the place comes alive. It's a little too late for me. I loved Portugal. And there's a great expat community there. It might be perfect for you, but it wasn't for us. When we came to Italy, we knew what we wanted. And we found it. And the first reason is the people. There's a connection here to Americans with the Italians which I didn't find in other places. They want to help. This 4,000 year old culture understands the idea that we're all in this together. They want to help. You're their friend. Today, I just walked into a leather store to get a, to get a belt fixed. I hadn't been in the store in a year and Luca remembered my name. He said, Alfredo, come stay. How are you? It makes you feel good. In the macelleria, very often, that's, that's the butcher. They know my meat. They, they know my order before, <laughs> before I give it. And they know my name. It is a place where people want to help you. It's not a place where money comes first. It's a place where time and the relationship you have come first. And that's the biggest reason we moved to Italy. The second one's the cost of living. And when I say Italy, one of the things I get right away is, oh, that's so expensive. Well, you think it's expensive because you came here as a tourist and you lived in a tourist hotel and you stayed in a tourist area and, and you ate tourist meals. Outside the tourist areas in Italy, it's a bit different. The lifestyle is different. The expenses are different. In the United States, my rent for a, a three-bedroom, 2,200-square-foot house 
was uh, right at 1560. Here with five bedrooms, three baths, and incredible views, it's 700. My health care in the U.S. was uh, 1460 bucks a month with a $6,000 deductible. Here it's $900 a year for the two of us with no deductible. It's a different system. Here we go out and buy fresh food. We go out and we explore the areas around us. And there's something always different. There are places that we love to eat. Fresh food. There are places with no menus at all because it happens to be the fresh food that they get that day, whether it happens to be lamb or beef or whether it happens to be a spaghetti with guanciale, which is, which is the cheek of a wild boar. If you don't think that spaghetti's good, oof. Absolutely delicious. Fresh vegetables all the time. And dolce, that's Italian expression for absolutely delicious. Now, the other thing besides the lifestyle, which is not hurried, which in which the dollar isn't almighty and the euro is not almighty. I've walked into a, 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 a dry cleaners to get my uh, to get my clothes and realized I didn't have the money for a forty dollar dry cleaner bill. She said, oh, "Take it, come back when you want." When you go into a butcher shop and it's it's uh, eighteen dollars and sixty two cents, eighteen fifty. It's a different place. It's a different way of looking at things. It's a different way of living. And that's what we were looking for. We want a slower pace of life. We want a place where it wasn't expensive to live. And a place where the people embraced you. And that's why we moved to Italy. So, oh, one other thing. You can travel almost anywhere in Europe. You can be almost anywhere in Europe in two, two and a half hours by plane. And trains are absolutely marvelous here. So if you would like to hear more about our living in Italy, about why we retired, about retirement, how we created that, and incidentally, it's the best time of life. And we have created our best life throughout all the changes and everything we've been through. If you're interested in that kind of thing, subscribe to The Laughing Retirement. Like this video. We have a Facebook group called The Laughing Retirement. You can join the Facebook group. So if this is the kind of thing you're interested in, if you want to talk about how to retire and how to create the best life ever in retirement, subscribe, join the Facebook group, like this, Thank you. I hope you've enjoyed it. I'm Chip Stites, your host and creator for The Laughing Retirement.